Chris Mathis 2 for 5 p.m. So the game between Barcelona and Celtic finished for about 20 minutes ago, maybe half an hour. Barca winning by three goals to one. I thought Celtic played pretty well. I thought they won a match Barcelona. Either Barcelona were dominant for most of the game. And, yeah, 3-1 is better than getting absolutely hammered. So, yeah. Suarez is quiet as well. I thought Suarez was very, very poor in this game. Very, very quiet from his standard. I thought Messi was brilliant. He had his entire Barcelona got the ball. I thought he was really, really dangerous. And I thought Patrick Roberts was good, great again for Celtic. He scared Barcelona defence to pieces when he got the ball. And, yeah, so I'm going to review the game now. So, in the first few seconds, Celtic very nearly scored... Mistake by the Barcelona defence and Roberts got onto it. He cut inside the left back and fired it just wide. He had another effort a few minutes later, which again was really, really close. He went past the post. But then after that, Barcelona did take the lead. Their dominance paying off. They had a lot of possession, as you'd expect, because they are the best team in the world. Admiral Toram scored a really, really good goal. Swat. Uh, it was poor defender from Celtic. Forrest got nutmegged. Proves that James Forrest is useless. I don't like him. I think he should just leave. Doesn't want to be there. Refusing to sign a new contract. He got nutmegged. Poor defending from the Scottish international. And Ardwell well tore around. Placed in the top corner. Past Craig Gordon. It was a great finish. Edge of the box. And it's one with Barcelona. Then had another effort. Which just went wide. Then they gave the ball away again. And Scott Brown on the shot. Which goalkeeper saved. Then Celtic equalised. It was a self-destruction for Barcelona in the defence. I think it's Matian made a mistake and played it across the box. Actually, it wasn't Matian. It was the other defender. I can't remember what his name is, but he made a mistake and Griffiths just tapped it into the net. It was 1-1. But then straight away, Ambrose, who I thought was all right in this game, even though I don't like him, I thought he was all right. He scored an own goal, but there wasn't really much he could do about it. It was a good ball whipped in, and it just hit him on the toe, and it went into the bottom corner past Craig Gordon. There's two on Barca. They then scored again. Suarez, Nutmeg, Ambrose, and Munier just tapped it in. It was 3 1. Chef G ran effort, which went over the bar. That was really unlucky. Rogic then came on the second half. He had effort, went wide. Fassan made a really, really good save from Suarez. Not Luis Suarez, the other Suarez that they've got. Suarez and an effort which just went wide. Arsenal and an effort which was saved. And then Rogers put an effort what that was just wide. But overall, Barcelona deserved to win the LC superior team. But I thought Bart Celtic did match them in spells. I thought Patrick Roberts, as I said, was fantastic for Celtic. Every time he got the ball, Barcelona defenders were backtracking and scared of him. And he has to play on Wednesday, so I'm happy they took him off <laughs> at half time for the game against Astana on Wednesday is more important than this game. And yeah, I think we'll beat Castano on Wednesday and go through to the final round of qualifying. It'll be very, very tough in the last round, but I think we can do it. But overall I thought Sats played alright. I thought O'Connell was really good again as well. Ambrose was alright today. So yeah, it was a good performance. But yeah, Barcelona and overall well-deserved winners. So, yeah, I'll just get a few on that, guys. Thanks for watching and listening. Please like and subscribe. But until next time, peace out.